Hey, America. Uh, first off, um, happy 4th. You know, 4th of July, Freedom Day, whatever you want to call it, Independence Day, whatever. That's, I, uh, to the international viewers, um, I know I've gone on a, a American kick as of late. Okay, I'm not going to apologize for that. I are an American, <laughs> and I care about my country. And yeah, what what I was gonna do today is you know go through, uh, basically start going through the Constitution, go through the Bill of Rights, basically start with the First Amendment, and go through it from the eye of, well, this is what we say our values are, and how much of it do we actually believe in uh, as Americans anymore, and what do the Democrats not believe in, and what do the Republicans not believe in, and what in general do the American people not believe in, and explore the idea of if these are good things or not. And I have a very depressing thing in front of me. I may include a screenshot of where in preparation for doing that video, I just started marking through the thing with a non-bias. I said, well, I heard the Republicans not agree with that the other day. I heard the Democrats not agree with that the other day. I've seen people protesting against this at least three times this year and so on and so on and so forth. And basically I've marked the whole thing out. You know, there's words like uh, a well a well-regulated and no soldier shall and the right of the people to be secure in there but for the most part all the bits that have to deal with our liberties and rights they didn't make the cut this is a problem with America today I can't speak for other countries. I can't speak for the world. I can't speak for the international stage. I can only speak for my country and what we were, what we thought we should be, and what we're turning into. The idea behind America was we sat down and we formed a more perfect union. Not a perfect union, a more perfect union. That goal never ends. America is supposed to be continually striving to be a more perfect country. It'll never be a perfect country, but it's supposed to forever be striving towards that. In my opinion, what the underlying ideal of the country was, freedom, and individual liberty is important. Individual liberty, regrettably, because humans are humans, cannot be absolute. But the ends are never justified by the means of critiquing. You know, a wise man once said, those who are willing to trade liberty for security soon shall have neither. And a wise man also once said, when presenting this more perfect union, a republic if you can keep it. The job of every single American citizen is to keep that freedom and to keep that republic a place they are proud of and want to live in. The bad thing, and simultaneously the greatest thing about America, is that we believe in, or at least we used to, freedom and liberty so much that we believe somebody can stand up and say everything that we know to be wrong, evil, and foul with this world and try and rally for it. We believe they have the right to be who they are. And we have the right and responsibility not to listen and not to do the evil they tell us is good. Because it will be popular to silence people, to shut them up. That's being tested big time 
in the United States of America right now. It's been tested before. And if you know American history well, you know we haven't always passed that test. World War II and the Japanese internment camps come to mind. We have failed this test. We've also failed it some in recent years. In the past, when we failed it, we've remembered that we failed it and acknowledged the horror we've created and undone it. Sometimes it took longer than it should have. Right now, what's going on in the United States of America is we have several people standing up and demanding that we hate one another. Some of them are socialists, some of them are anarchists, some of them have good intentions, some of them hide behind the Bible. I'm not saying socialists or anarchists or even communists or Christians or even Muslims. I'm not saying any of these people are inherently evil. What I'm saying is we have the responsibility when hate is presented to us not to listen to it. To keep our republic and be the people that we are more than capable of. And that's really what this holiday is supposed to be all about in commensurating and remembering. We're supposed to remember who we are and what we're capable of. And what our responsibility is as citizens. Again, I'm only speaking for the United States of America in this regard. If you want to import this idea into your, into your country, I don't oppose that. But understand, it comes with a most horrible responsibility. This idea is two-sided. It brings great good and great evil with it. It can be used for either. It is dual in its nature. And ultimately, it is the responsibility of the citizens and the people to make sure it is used for good and not evil. We haven't always passed that test. We don't need to fail it again, America. Get involved. Stand up. Speak. Participate in your local elections. Participate in the primaries. Participate in the local process. Protest. Counter-protest. Don't go, oh, those people are idiots. Speak against them. Point out why they're wrong and why they're selling hate and why they're trying to divide us. Don't just sit on the sidelines and let it happen and duck your head down and play it safe. That's how these things take over. We have been asleep far too long in America and we have let far too many things happen. And we are reaping the rewards for our inaction. We have earned another black eye on ourselves in this country. Like I said, we've done it in the past. We've managed to come back from it in the past. We can come back from this one. But it will only happen if the people of this country honor their grand responsibility to keep the Republic and to keep the Republic a Republic they can be proud of which stands for the values of freedom and liberty not for the popular not for the people who think like you not the ones you like but every single American citizen including the ones you would stand up at the top of your lungs to say you hate you can hate them you can disapprove of them all you want but you can't take their rights away we can't cross that line. We can't do it, America. This debate is heating up, and it's a multi-front debate. I hate to be depressing on what I consider to be a very sacred day, but we need to remember who we are, and we need to be the people we're capable of. Have a happy holiday, everyone. Enjoy fun. Play with your fireworks responsibly. Don't set anything on fire. 
If they're banned because it's too dry where you are and fires are likely, go a little bit out of town to the wetter areas where you can do it safely. Enjoy the day, America. Enjoy the weekend. Have fun. Celebrate. But remember what you're celebrating. And when you're done celebrating, get to work and save our republic. Peace out, everyone.